shamans. We're gonna do an immediate assessment. Eh, not too good. <laughs> no? Yeah, I got a loss of power. I'm, okay. I, I'm not sure. I got one. You all go. Trying to look into it for you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Usually data erratic means you got a bad wire. Intake manifold sensor, you, you could maybe just clean it. Just clean it and probably just could, go. Could be the problem, could be your wires, could be the sensor. Yeah. Supercharger speed, inactive. Yeah, that, what's about that turbocharger speed one? What do you think? All right, well, you heard the guy said it could either be a wire or be the sense. Okay, I unplugged it and it looks like it's that and held on by probably a 10 millimeter and I don't think I have any. All right, guys, this is why I like flatbed so much. I don't have one, but check it out. That, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, as weird as I look, I don't care. Be sure to check the uh, playlist for ISXPM. I'll have a video of the guy that I watched do this. Very appreciative. It says, do it until you see copper inside. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna clean that out really good. Let's go inside. Ta-da! Ta-da! Still kinda dirty. Fill that little inside up and then dip that in there. Hopefully it'll fit. Let that soak. If this doesn't work, I am gonna go ahead and buy the sensor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that, almost looks the same. I'm just kidding, here's the mountains. It's flat as a, a flat prowler, how, oh lord. Right, kudos to the guy beside me. Thank you so much, he helped me out. He had the electrical cleaner stuff that doesn't leave a residue, so I was able to do that. Um, got everything pretty well good, so. We're gonna go in here and find something or wash up and find something to eat with the hamburgers that I have. Cause I'm broke and I can't afford to go to that awesome restaurant. <laughs> All right, so we cleaned it. Um, you seen that video? It didn't really work. So I'm got, I got some actual brake cleaner. We're gonna clean it again and hope for the best. Also gonna really look for broken wires. I'm not gonna show you any of that. I'm just gonna let you know what's going on. I'll show you what I'm looking at though. And because I don't have the proper wire tester, I mean, you can see where that bar broke off. It did bang on some stuff. So it more than likely is a wire, but that guy right there, the plug down there below this bar, that's him. Um, we can follow that wire that runs to him, follow it right to there. It loops down. Where does it go after that? Oh, it just goes into the main harness. I can't address that. We'll check that main harness right there. Check that one. And we'll see. And as I learned from the video I watched earlier uh, in the week to take this off, after I already took it off, I was looking to see what else could be the problem. Um, yeah, all you gotta do is break that bolt loose, the little 10 millimeter, and then, if you watch where my index finger is, you just move this little guy out of the way, and now this sensor pulls up. Um, we're gonna pull it up right now, I'll show you. It's got an O-ring, so it's kinda hard to pull up. Sometimes you might want a flathead to pry it up. Uh, on the video, when he did it, he just pulled it right out. I, oh, there we go. Okay, careful not to hit the end. Supposed to clean it out so nothing falls in there. And we've got copper. Yeah. He said make sure there's copper on there. I can see the copper. Do you see the copper? On one side at least. Um, with it being intermittent, I'm afraid it's the actual sensor itself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it now and just buy another one. All right, no more cleaning. Let's just, let's just cut to the chase and buy a good one. All right, I lied. We are attempting to clean it again indy doesn't have it in stock or oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry the freightliner near me doesn't have it in stock the freightliner in indy doesn't but there's a cummins parts place in indy so we're gonna try that if this don't work i'm gonna go ahead and clean it and 
do all that, get an old toothbrush, and then uh, clean it really good and see if that works. Take it for a test ride. Now, if you follow this series of, you know, lost power, uh, check out my other videos if you haven't looked at them already. You know that I used my belt on the side of the road to change the fuel filters, and I broke it. I literally snapped the metal. Um, I wasn't clear about what I did or how I broke it in the video, but it was the buckle and how I cinch it around the, you know, around the thing. This is the one I use at home. It's still, and look at it, it's destroyed. So we're going to clean it up and put it on. <laughs> I'm cheap. So I'm really hoping that guy made a mistake when he said make sure the copper's showing because oh, there's a copper thing he's talking about. And the inside is white. I cleaned all the copper out, just about all of it. You can see a piece still in there. We'll get that piece right there off. And we'll put her in there and see if that's the fix. Fingers crossed, because it's starting to run. All right, phone's in the holder. I'm not touching it. Not paying attention to you. Um, I have sunglasses on. It's very cloudy out. But my eyes are really sensitive to light. It's like some of y'all's feelings to words. <laughs> We're taking us down the road. Uh, I've been idling it for a little bit. We did, uh, I went to Circle K and got a pop and left it idling, checked on my trailer. It is not underwater yet. <laughs> Where I parked at, there's a little bit of water there. Um, and my trailer's still there, so that's good. It is Monday, guys. Not working today, wasting time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm get this truck, make sure that sensor works, and then um, we're gonna top off all the fluids and do a PM real quick, uh, minus the oil. We still got miles left for the oil, but yeah, we're gonna test this out. Um, put her under. Uh, doesn't matter if it's under load or not. You'll, I'm gonna fill it. You know what I mean? When I when I floor it and ain't nothing there, or there is barely anything there, then I know it's still not working. I'll go get the new sensor. But fingers crossed it works. And I'll have to spend a couple hundred dollars or whatever it was. Uh, either way, it's simple. You see how easy it is to change out. It's just you know more money, but. Yeah, we're gonna sell this truck, guys. Um, I'm gonna get 27 out of it, maybe 25, but I definitely want 27. Damn good running truck, ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, you know what's wrong with it? Hardly anything. Um, could use a couple tires, you know, just some small stuff. Quarter fenders busted again, where I had to do some creative backing because somebody parked too close to my trailer to where I couldn't get in and under it, so I had to cut it under it a little bit. Plus, I didn't put the fender. I'll just cut all this out. But anyways, I didn't put the fender. Um, quarter fenders on right because I've never done it before I didn't realize you had to angle them so much so yeah I busted busted them up right off the get-go you know what I'm saying but that's okay plus I had the airbag issue so that didn't help it at all uh, you know we got the new airbag now all that stuff this car is really close to me purple heart thank you for your service all right we're gonna hop on the interstate here and you're just gonna stare at me and listen to the engine That's my e-log because, unfortunately, my phone decided to completely crash. Oh, there it is. Oh, we'll do that in a minute. It's all right. This is shop time anyways or personal conveyance because I literally went to the grocery store, literally working on it. I have no load. I'm not pulling in my trailer. Yeah, my trailer's at the drop lot. You know what I mean? So we're good. All right, it did it again. Um, took it all. I was almost all the way back to the exit and I got on it pretty hard and it wasn't there. So... Yeah, it actually, I can just tell it's just not there, so. Yeah, well, I guess we'll run up the Indy and do that. Dang it, man. All right, guys. Well, we put a brand new sensor on. Uh, went all the way back down here to this little town in Edinburgh here. Do a turn around, get back on the interstate from the house um, where I was at. Come down here. Uh, last time the sensor, I just cleaned it, and um, it did all the way great until this leg here. This time the new sensor didn't even make it to the exit, so it must be a wire. Look, I'm flooring it right now. I'm Bob Tail, and I am flooring it right now, guys. Nothing. I can't take a load when I can barely even take off. There's one I really... Well, hey guys. Um, haven't done much today. 
Uh, went looking some new trucks. Showed you some video here. Um, yeah. Well, we're in this Cummins. Got the turbo sensor. Bought it, and I'm gonna replace it right now. Um, a lot of fun. I'll see if I can show you where it's at. It's ball. It's on the back here. Fall this down. There was a screw there. No longer a screw there. It's like a millimeter bolt. I mean, not a screw. And of course, it's a pain in the butt to get to. Everything's in the way. Move some stuff out of the way. Um, zip tie it back together later. Make sure no rubbing. But we're gonna put that on and see. This will be the second sensor. Um, and the second time I've had it at Cummins because it's deleted, they can't um, they can't work on it. So hopefully, it's the sensor and that's it. The sensor comes with a really long wire. You can see it. it goes all the way up through here and bunches up in there. And hopefully that's the wire that's bad. We'll get that replaced. Okay, real quick. Um, not only did the part come with the O-ring installed, nice shiny stuff going on. It also came with the next an extra bolt. Let's open that up. And it came with some. Oh, why do you call it? clamps um cool i can up i can update all that crap because it came with these and let's get that out there she is nice and beautiful we're gonna put her in real quick and hope that fixes it okay we need the light to shine some light on the subject to make sure we are in the hoe and get everything not to block it's really hard. Bear with me. Bear with me if you would. Oh man, it's really hard to get that twisted. It won't let me use the other zoom or the the back off where it's at the six instead of the one. I like the point six because it really focuses really well. Oh, well, there we go, my friends. It's in. Time to party. Hey, hey, hey. So here's the deal. I didn't record anymore because, you know, just like on the forums, whenever um, they're talking about fixing something, they never write back whenever they fix it because they're too busy working. So what happened was I put that sensor in, took it down the road, and it did exactly the same thing again. So at that point, I was like, I had to work. So, um, you know, I was going to leave Monday to go to work, and I just parked the truck and disconnected you know I mean did the power disconnect and I crap you not on my way to um, pick up a load it never done it and I was like okay well I kept my foot out of it read somewhere where somebody had you know they were like oh man when I get in the booth that's when it does it I don't know well I stayed out of the booth for a good long time and then I took a really light load I like light loads I got a million mile truck so I like to try to you know if I'm pulling the hills we're gonna have 7,000 10,000 pounds at the most 12 maybe but anyways yeah so I started getting into it guys um, I'm on day three or four that's what it was it was a broken wire that broken wire um, everything the computer has to reset or be um, told to reset so you know when at first it won't do it at, you know at the beginning because it's taking default readings so whenever you get going for a while and then get your foot in it, then it's like taking the actual readings and it was choppy because of one of the wires. Um, I'll post a video below eventually about how, what helped me find out like what this was. And um, it was $311 for turbo speed sensor. Um, the codes are at the beginning of this, so make sure you check that out. Guys, I talk a lot. <laughs> hey, this truck's for sale, I'll take 20K. I got my eye on some other trucks. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe. There's a lot going on. I might be um, canceling my authority and going with uh, someone with contract freight. I don't really want to do that because I like independence, but I don't like low paying loads. I don't like running the spot market. Ask me about this uh, really long deadhead I'm on to get out of this bad market.